Hello everybody, I'm here. A little late, uh, but better Nate than Lever, I suppose. Sometimes dad duty calls. I guess we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, click some rewards. As you can probably tell I've been playing a little, little off stream. Can't blame me. Yu-Gi-Oh is fun. It's hard to stay away. Especially when I have a switch, it makes it so easy to just pick it up, play Game of Master Rule, go do the thing I need to do, and then continue on. So, pretty cool, pretty exciting. Uh, what am I gonna do while people show up? I think I'll tidy up some deck lists. Oh yeah, spoiler! I was playing Sprite in the Duelist Cup. Uh, this is pure, pure, pure copium, huff and copium. Um, Sprite feels a lot like TCG Math Mech after they limited Math Mech to 1 where you still have good cards in your deck uh, Sprite Blue but you have to work very hard to combo into those good cards so um, Sprite's probably too heavily hit for how good it is especially considering um, we're in the middle of Fire format. If they really wanted to level Sprite out, they could ban Sprite Elf and unlimit everything else and it would be fine. The TCG has shown us that. Uh, it's not like the existence of Max C does anything for Sprite. Um, Sprite actually struggles to play into Max C. So it's probably even a little worse with the Elf ban and everything else unlimited than, uh, than it would be in the TCG. Plus Runic, its best counterpart, is pretty heavily hit. So that's another thing. And then uh, let's see what else did I want to say about Sprite. Uh, the Runic cards are hit. If you ban Elf, it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. It could be fine if you just unlimited everything. Banned Elf instead. And let the deck actually feel good to play instead of funky. Alright, but yeah, that, that's the deck list I was playing. It's alright. It's alright. The extra deck needs a little tidying up, but I don't really know what to move around. I feel like I always end up going to the same pieces for combo. I usually try to end on Elf, Gigantic, uh, Melfi of the Forest, and um, usually Carrot or Red, hopefully both, and then Caddy to get Penny to Synchro either into Mary Melfi's for a bounce or Arclight for a negate. But that's enough about Sprite. Let's go ahead and play Bestial RDA. Let's tidy up this deck list. 43 is probably a little too much. Nah, I think it's fine. 43 cards is fine. I could probably go 44 and be all right because I got small world. So three, six, nine, twelve. 15 one card full combo starters plus bone archfiend makes 18 one card some combo starters yeah that's fine I could probably go 44 but I don't even know what to add um don't even know what to add I mean ash is probably good probably good but one ash isn't going to do anything. I'd have to start rearranging the ratios of hand traps. And I like the three Valor because it works really well with the Bestials. Man, we'll keep it at the weird 43. We'll keep it at the weird 43. But we're going to play Bestial Resonator tonight. We're going to play Bestial Resonator. Uh, extra deck. Do I need to tidy anything up for the extra?
Not really. Looks good. Maybe a second to spotter. Um. How's everybody in chat doing? Y'all ready to play? I think I am too. I think I am too. Let's go run it. Oh yeah, by the way, made it to a uh, plat one. Still playing RDA. Uh, win loss record's looking pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm 14 and six in my last 20. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, stayed with almost entirely RDA. Well, stayed with RDA all through plat. Everything before that was uh, random decks while I was waiting for the new RDA support to drop. World of Knowledge. Uh, Barone the Floor is important for this deck. Is not important for this deck. You'll be locked to DDSs most of the time. Uh, I know. Barone is there for the follow up play. Uh, usually, if you survive the turn and make Barone on the crack pack, you seal the victory because uh, it's a war of attrition to get to through your full combo board. And then once you drop Barone onto that onto that board after they've chewed through so much of their interaction and resources, just trying to out yours, it's it's GGs. It's for follow-up plays, um, for follow-up plays, and it's for playing into established boards. Um, if you don't think you can make the big combo push, uh, you can just try to turbo to burn, see if the bestial utility can can uh, help you crack the board with Barone. Let's queue up. Oh, poor player. They're going to lose and lose a rank. We get to go first. Let's see what the starting hand looks like. Let's see what the starting hand looks like. Hopefully the best deals are going to do good. I like playing pure. Um, I don't think there's a better version of the deck between pure. Void Ogre is more useful. Uh, false. Void Ogre is not more useful. Uh, you never have a guarantee to have an empty hand. And um, you're never going to favor making that over Abyss Despotter. Void Ogre is useful, but it's not more useful than Brown. They come up about, uh, they come up about the same amount of time. There's a better choice in Small World. What's the better choice in Small World? Uh, Small World is primarily there to, uh, God, and yeah, full house, basically, two soul, two call. Um, Small World is there to get me into the Bestial Engine it's to find, uh, Lubellion. Oh, I'm about to get owned. They have the God Hand, in fact. So now I'm left with the big old dilemma. Big, big, big old dilemma. Um, do I push into it or just let them have it? Void Apocalypse. Credit goes to do. Uh, I saw the Void Apocalypse thing. Uh, it's interesting. It's cool that it gets you to bone. I don't like that it also requires a discard. I mean, it's continuous, so it means you don't have to also discard something for um, for bone archfiend. But I don't like going neg one just to search bone archfiend. I feel like finding bone is never really the problem with this deck list. Uh, I'm actually very happy that they ash that soul resonator. 
because I wasn't going to continue to play after that. I just wanted to get bone to my end so the next soul search could be Uva Loop and we could hopefully get some more gas to push through. I don't think I was going to play into Max either. Not with... Not with uh, them committing a Gamma to it too. Uh, I think this is probably over anyways, considering they opened Unicorn. They're going to egg Z's lock themselves, so, I mean, that that's something. Fenrir. Fenrir Surge. What you searching? Search the Rise Heart. Are they going to turn one of those into Shangira? Just so they could maybe, hopefully, kind of, sort of, get back to Fenrir? Would they banish Imperm, Imperm, Stone Sweeper? That's fine. Uh, da -da -da -da. you can target one caster. Have one your to your hand. Oh, okay, that's pretty sweet. Uh, they're actually playing Big Bang. Nobody plays Big Bang. Okay, so they had a plan. They had a plan to get to Fenrir. That's good. And then Shang gets them Unicorn next. Next turn. Okay, so they got Big Bang back in. And we're not winning this at all. We're not winning this at all. Not a chance. What's the second? Oh, I keep forgetting that a rise heart's legal. I keep forgetting a rise heart's legal in, in Master Duel. I always get jump scared by it. Move it along here, folks. Move it along here. I know when I'm beat. No harm, no foul. All right, let's see if we get a little better luck the next time. That Gamma put in work. Maybe I should try to fit Gamma in the list. Maybe I should try to fit Gamma. Gamma would be nice in this deck. Give it a chance to sack into an eight. Makes the combo line a little weird, but you can manage it. All uh, right. Um, well, this is awkward. Boop. Boop. Gonna draw face maxi here. They play into it, they unbrick us. If not, we're okay. Unless they're okay. Nice, we're the eccentric for uh, eccentric for the back row. Goaded res call top deck. Soul access shall be nice. Pop. What is it? Dogmatic of punishment. Uh, what are we playing against? It's playing punishment. What are we playing with that's keeping five cards in hand and playing punishment? That's odd. Uh, you grab b -b -b bone. Uh, bone. What do we want to send? I feel like we need to send the. I mean, Vision's fine to send. 
like to keep it in case they have an imperm or something. But whatever, we'll live. We'll live with it. If it happens, it happens. We'll just get the vision search a little early this turn. Send that crimson. Decrease that level. Synchro for the glossy red rising. Boom. -boom. You're not allowed to impermit because it's glossy. And if it's prismatic, you're not allowed to imperm or valor it. It's illegal. Okay, crimson, grab you two. Probably should be in defense, but I don't care. We're pushing for lethal this turn, and it does not look like they have anything. Unless I'm about to get hit by a rogue battle fader. I doubt that will be the case, though. Do do do. Do 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 do. You. And then you. Target you. We go for Bane here because we don't have a reliable way to banish. Then we special division Bane, tribute off division, target the Scar Red, bring back the Scar Red. Activate the Gaia in case something funky happens and we need to float into OGRDA and good game Good game. I love Bane. I wish Bane did a little bit more, but um, It always feels nice when you can make a big push with Bane Always feels nice when you actually get to use it to do something super impactful. Okay, we're probably going second. So let's see what our hand looks like. How's everybody doing tonight? Good? Bad? Somewhere in between? Sans killer for going first. Going second, uh, TBD. See if one bailer is even worth it. What are they going to reveal? Uh, Vishuda. That is... Uh, I get mega punished if they have long one already or way too long one, but I kind of feel like I have to. Kind of feel like I have to stop the Moye. Make them work for it. They revealed Vish in hand. Vish is kind of... Oh, it paid off. Fish is dead in hand. Fortuitous. If we get stopped, we'll be okay. But we're not getting stopped because we got cross out. Never going to stop us. Oh, look at that. Why do I have cross out in this deck too? I'm not playing enough cross out targets. I just got lucky that I'm hap I happen to be playing enough failures. Aha. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Do we play into Maxi and push for game, or do we play the long game? And do we play the long game knowing that we're going to be okay? Because we have bone in hand already and we have our own maxi. Uh, we know one card in hand is Vishuda. Moye doesn't do anything. The other card doesn't extend them. 
the other one in hand is another Moye and they normal summon a Moye. We might be in a little bit of trouble, but we'll be maxing anyways. Um, let's just... Uh, I kind of want a Bone Archfiend. I don't want a bone just to get vision to get the search, but I don't want to give them a draw. I want the search. I want to dump vision for the search of Gaia, so I have recursion. But uh, if they have any way to play, they'll get the blackout and they'll end up popping into my turn anyways. So we'll just we'll just wait it out. We'll just be patient about it. We'll be fine. I need to have my toggle on too. We're gonna maxi them and draw. Gonna maxi them and draw phase so we don't get hit with the talents. Make them make a decision. So we know a Vish in hand, Vishuda in hand, nothing else. Okay, there's the second Moye. All right. Called it. Good news is Golem can kind of clear some stuff up for us. Nope. Not anymore. Uh, and they banished the Vish, right? So they don't have any darks in graveyard. They do have the Valor in graveyard, though. That's okay. So we can maxi into a Bestial and be okay. We have our own Valor, too. We'll see how far they want to push. Blackouts. And they top decked the emergence. So they're going to get the long one. No. Probably should have just pushed in the maxi and said forget it. Shouldn't have been scared about it. Usually I'm not. Not getting good top decks off of Maxi, anyways. It's kind of blah. Kind of blah. Are they going Center Seal Long One, or are they going Baron? Baron. Okay. Another Gaia. At least whatever they negate and destroy with Barone will have uh, extras of, you know? Casually checks life points. Alright, that's game. That feels bad. That feels really bad. Because that one I should have just pushed into... Should have just pushed into the max seed and gone for game. And if they, they grab nib, they grab nib. Um, I know cross out saved us there, but you can drop the cross out. Am I even playing the Bastille version? No, I'm not even playing the Bastille version. <laughs> that that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't even change that to the Bastille version. Awesome. Let me put that cross out back in there then. Oh, that's funny. It's funny. I didn't even notice. I just thought we weren't seeing... Uh, I just thought we weren't seeing Bastille access, which isn't uncommon. That's funny. Whoops. All right, everybody, now we're playing the Bestial version. Now we're playing Bestials. 
It's Bob's Burgers. Sound off in chat. Who's your favorite Bob's Burgers character? Uh, Mermelo. Add one hole. Feel like that's worth a Valor. Stop them from getting all tail. Boop. My chat wasn't refreshing. I'm sorry, everybody. I missed so, all kinds of stuff. Oh, uh, VCU Clemson. Um, I like pure better. I like the pure version better. Uh, but in light and dark metas, the bestial version is probably a little bit stronger. Because the bestials will put in more work. They, they'll function as both engines and impactful hand traps. In a, in a wide meadow or a non light and dark meadow, the bestials could sometimes feel a little lackluster if they're only ever banishing your own stuff. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Nib. Hello, Nibiru. Rizgal. That's good. Soul. Hey, they know they're cooked. Uh, so the cool thing we were going to do there is pitch Sarnir off of Bone Archfiend and then Sarnir dump Lubellion and then we have Lubellion in rotation. And that's how you bridge the two engines together. Which is why it's kind of a bummer that uh, Sarnir is at one in Master Duel. Because Sarnir is the one bestial I think playing like three of would be okay. Isn't the mini bestial engine good because of calamity? No, the calamity lock is cope. It is pure copium. Uh, it's it's the definition of win more. To set up the bestial, um, to set up the the two to the branded uh, calamity lock, you have to resolve crimson resonator. If you resolve crimson resonator, you're winning anyways. You're in a very very strong winning position. So. Um, the Calamity Lock is pure cope. Yeah, um, from what I noticed, people get hung up on the Calamity Lock version because it's like flashy and it's um, like provocative. It gets the people going. Oh, uh, no. Um, it's like flashy and, uh, and like you read Calamity and it says you can't activate anything and you think like, oh my goodness, that's like got to be incredibly broken and, you know, like wild. It's, it's true. Calamity is one heck of a card, but when you consider like the context around Calamity, it becomes less impressive because you have to get to the point in which you can set up um, two tuners plus 12 levels of synchro material on your opponent's turn. So, uh, cool. Let's see. Uh, I need to stop rambling and start playing. Well, normal soul. We have like a mad rip full of bestials. I'm a little terrified that they passed without doing anything. That means they're like, yep. Loaded. Absolutely loaded with hand traps, which is fine. Now I need to find a bridge to a non-tuner. Can I do it? Um, yeah. 
bridge to bridge to bone it should be I can go Sarnir Sarnir is fine to get rid of because we already have Lubellian access I could go Nibiru too but I kind of like Nibiru more over Sarnir because Magnum can always give me another best deal uh, so this is 1804 Dark Fiend. This is 1225-6 Light Fiend. If I go Santa Claus, I should bridge into Bone. Bo -bo 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 Bone. Uh, Bone Effect. We... I should have used Lubellion to get another best deal, but it's fine. We'll pitch the Lubellion because it does the same thing in the graveyard anyways. Gets itself back on field midway through the combo and then uh, places the Brand of Beast up for a pop. But I cannot forget that we are going second here so we're going for for an otk we're not going to set up for interaction we're going for an otk do not let me forget chat dun, 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 dun. stats uh the average joe thank you for the small world bridge line i appreciate it yeah, I could have gone nibbed into a centric. Uh, because the centric has attack and defense and it's a three light fiend. I like Santa Claus too. Santa Claus bridges basically everything. From everything to everything. Do we go yeah, let's go abyss. Okay, Scar Red Float. You grab back vision. Opponent, you're free to scoop at any time, too. And we're going to just try to push for an OTK with the RDA stuff and save all the Bistial uh, stuff just in case they, uh, they nib. In case they nib at end of main. Trip it off. Give me Scarred back. It's enough for lethal. And we go from there. We made it to the battle phase. Okay, we win. Uh, Sure. Let's get extra tuners on board. Might as well. Let's grab a... One and one sounds fine. Twos. Let's just do twos. Doesn't matter. We're going to win anyways. Pachoo, pachoo. There, that's game. Send a text message really quick. All right, let's keep going next. Glad we got a win under our belt. Funny that we switched to the uh, Bistial version and we instantly start winning. All right, going first. Let's go first. Let's go first. Dun, 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 uh, Another killer hand. Very, very good hand. Press call. Grab soul. Hey, that's what we like to see. 
I do like now that if you see Red Dragon Archfiend and you don't have a hand trap, you should be it's probably a good idea to scoop. I think this is our rank book match into uh into diamond. Can we get it? Can we do it? And we need an animation for Supernova or Odor's Potter. Better yet, we need both. Oh uh winner gets winner gets to go to diamond. Alright. Winner gets to go to diamond. Let's lock in. We get to go first. Let's see that grip. Uh, that's fine. It's not the greatest thing in the world because I think Stone Sweeper is on once per turn. Uh, that's fine. If you're ashing that, you're not ashing Crimson Resonator, and I have access to it. Yep, it is a once per turn. Um, that's fine. We open the other searcher. Okay, that went through. Droll? No. Valor Imperm? Ah, uh, come on, don't do it. Don't do it. Be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. Come on. This is unfortunate, because normally they get mega punished if they hit the soul. But since my hand was two two ofs, well, two two pairs, they uh, they get rewarded for it. Please play Neneb. Please play Neneb. Please play Neneb. They're going birth, which means they already have a way to put another one on board. Or they already have Fenrir in hand. Pitch Unicorn, Diabelle Star. They're playing Kastira Snake Eyes. Okay. Uh, let's see. When do we nib? We got a big rock and a dream. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully we can slap him with his rock hard enough to win. Okay, they used birth effect. That's good. It's one, two, three. This is summon four. Four. Of course, they get to ash before five summons. Poplar. Um, do we nip here? Um, let's see what they had. Read when this card is activated, you can place one snake out monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. And it's under spell trap zone. Once per turn, if your opponent normal special summons a monster, except you can target one monster card on the field, true to special summon. Uh so we just nib them here. Nib them here. No. Mm. 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 It sucks getting punished. It's not even a punish. Mm. That sucks. That really sucks. We weren't good enough to win. All right, let's get right back after it. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, it sucks. Cause we played that correctly. Played it right. They just had the hand. They just had the hand forever. So their hand was Ash, Imperm, Crossout, Unicorn, Deal Bell Star, 
And we don't know the sixth card in hand. Although if you're playing that deck, I guess uh guess that's what you hope to open. Glad we didn't shotgun Maxi. Uh so they're gonna do Dream Shark. What Synchro 7 can they make? What Synchro 7 can they make with, with all their stuff? Alright, that's fine. Play the game. I guess we're playing the game today. unicorn oh okay yeah we did know the six card it was the second unicorn carry on pass Yeah, this is going to be tough to beat. It's going to be very tough to beat because they're going to get full setup here. Full setup here. Nothing in great for us to banish. Nothing in great for us to banish. Um, They're going to just banish everything. So we won't really be able to put anything in there. Uh, Do we just force it? I think we try to force things like this. No, we can't force it because there's no darks in grave, so we can't get can't get magnumut uh, on the board. Wanted to uh, try to grab vision, use magnumut, make an RDA, threaten the board, but we're gonna have to play this. Conventionally, and then use the bestials in the back half to see if we can clean some stuff up. We'll hold on to that second res call as long as possible. We'll pitch the red zone. Uh, Bone Arch Fiend. I think we've pitched the red zone here because we can always get it back via Gaia if we need it. Bone. You should air you should uh what's the bicorn goatee's name? Why am I blinking on its name? Ascon? You should Ascon here, get rid of bone before bone can dump. But that's fine. Uh does Goatee of the Deep Beyond banish all cards or just monsters? Pretty sure it's all cards. We could force it with Force it with Force it with Gaia and an RDA. I mean yeah, let's try that. Gaia. Gaia effect. Let's grab red zone. Get that before we commit to RDA. We're going to go OG here. So we want to threaten a board wipe. Come on, let this go through, please. Let me get to the battle phase. Battle. Oh, I always forget about the related card thing. It's true. Uh, where is it? Where's the related card button? I don't know. 
Hescon. Banish, banish. Let's see, what are we going to do here? They got Putuniful for follow up. Kind of feel like now that they have. They're gonna synchro now. That works out great. That works out great. Ah, card info. Gotcha, all that stuff. Okay. Uh that's fine. What are you doing? Uh I think I still go battle phase here. No, we go battle phase. We magnemite, banish the. Gotta banish the bone. We only have access to one crimson. Magnemite here. Magnemite effect. Uh, magnemite attack. Paces. Main phase two. Res call, res call grabs vision, vision specials itself. This grabs scarlight, and then we blow up the board. That worked out. Uh, and then Vision can grab us Golem, but I don't really know what Golem does for us against Goaty. Uh We don't really want to put any of their stuff in the Banished Pile. Although it's really only the little stuff they want in the Banished Pile. What is the effect they have to activate? What am I missing? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so they will level seven. That's fine. It's golems for that now. And this is for this. Then we have that to get the OG back. And I think we're in a halfway decent position. And then, oh, Magnemite gets us. Uh, we're going to go Jurist Worm here just for pressure. Just for pressure. That is... Fine. Do they have a level 9 synchro that I'm worried about? Not that I know of, but kind of want to get rid of it anyways, to be honest. Kind of want to get rid of it anyways. Two tuners is fine to have. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll just banish soul. What? Soul not in graveyard? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. The animation threw me off. I was going to say, we had soul in graveyard. Okay, now they be tuniful. That's fine. Um... Feel like we do this and we 
pop shift pop shift just to not let them get to another Arian pass I feel like that's the right move because they're gonna summon a level four what level four do they have that does anything Scarlet MVP true um yeah you can send the fish to the graveyard you already got almost all your tuners or you already have all your tuners in rotation don't know if there's anything you can send that would make a difference for you snappy ass snappy ass okay okay um we definitely get back OG right away. Okay, and then let's see what we have. Foolish. Then they're going to activate an effect. We're going to pop the lifeless and we're going to be okay. And we're going to be okay. Destroy it. Pop it. And you're going to have nothing but tuners. Then we win. Then we win. And uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we play Scarlet in the extra deck. Play it because it comes up. Sometimes you just need to even the playing field. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I feel like we can do this. We'll RDA blow up their stuff. Uh, Gaia, give me back Scarred. Oh, Scarred is where? I never made Scarred. That's fine. But we get a free Red Dragon Archfiend out of it anyways. Uh, Foolish gets to send Uvaloop. This gets to add... That's from deck. We'll go Soul. The soul can always add the vision if we want to. Bone. We'll add vision. I honestly don't even know what my plan is here. I'm just clicking buttons. TBH. TBH. Just clicking buttons. We got this in the bag, anyways. Uh, Bane and OG Vision grab another Gaia Bane pop you summon back you hard parts over Hard part is over, and that was getting through the board. Turn one. Easy part is done. Well, easy part is finding lethal. This deck can put big bodies on board like nobody's business. Of course I want more tuners back. Of course I want tuners back. I don't know what we're going to do with them, but I want them back. There we go. We made it. Oh, we made it. All right, we made it. We made it out of that one alive. That was a good duel. That was a good duel. I'm actually kind of glad Maxi got negated. Actually kind of glad. Made that one an enjoyable one. That's the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh I like to play. And we have our rank up match. Let's see what we're getting. Uh, going second, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not preferable, but we'll be okay. I believe in us. I believe in the power of friendship. With the power of friendship, we can accomplish all things. Hand is killer going first. Uh, mid going second. 
Okay. Let's see what they're on. Lab? Probably. They're playing extra half. It's lab or flu. I feel like if you're playing flu with all the hits it has on it, you're just holding on for dear life. Oh, Let's see. Come on. What do we got? Uh, Vanquish Soul. All right. Borg. Anything that's past three turns uh, that isn't stun is nice. Agreed, Felix. Agreed. Anything where you get a decent back and forth. Or even if in the three turns. Like if there's a lot of interaction and you two are just trading cards, you know. Especially most of them are engine cards. Feels really good. Feels, feels real good. Scarlet, what's your plan? Burn me. Joke's on you, I'm into that. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I don't have a ton of reps against VS. No one at my locals really played it. Didn't really see it too much on simulators either. With no non-engine cards, I don't know if I know how to play into this with engine. I mean, I feel like trying to go with RDA. To book the board and clear the board and then try and play in, try and play in main phase 2 is the plan. But... Um, we'll see. Who they put in grave? Borger. Be nice if we had a bestial. Front them from adding back the Borger. Be real nice if we had one. Oh well. Toggle on in case we top deck something good. Uh, Uvaloop. Interesting. Uvaloop's an interesting one to have in hand. Very interesting. Feel like they're gonna try and go Caesar. First opportunity, they're gonna try and go Caesar. Sweeper's gonna grab Soul. I don't even know what to search with Soul at this point. Does Trap destroy all monsters I control or does it destroy all cards? All monsters. Okay. When I get this deck earlier, I had no clue what it does. Uh it's like a real grindy mid rangey control deck where they just try to play a battle of attrition and all their dudes tag out into other dudes. They bounce themselves to the hand, summon another dude, and then the dudes can reveal attributes in hand to get bonus effects for all their effects. It's um it's an interesting play style. I just don't know how they're thinking about playing it, so I don't know how to play into it. They're gonna go for uh, Caesar Valius, which is the big dragon dude, because he turns himself into a towers for the turn. Is this popping the column? Destroy all other cards in this cards column. That's Fine. We'll grab vision here.
All right, everybody, dad duty's call, so I may have to uh, take a break for five seconds here, which is unfortunate because I really would like to play into this one. would really like to play into this one. really like to play into this one. Borger, Borger draw. All right, hopefully doesn't notice my mouse is AFK. Let's go rebellion effect and I'm gonna run, I'll be right back.
Uh, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. Sorry, everybody. I had to sing a lullaby about SpaghettiOs. It's a good time. Let's queue back up and see if we can't get uh, get the diamond tonight. <sighs> okay, go in second. Let's see what's up. Apologize to my opponent. I didn't mean to stall. I uh, had to be dead for a minute, which is all right. Comes with the uh, the title. Uh, okay. Let's see how well they play in the nib. Hand's not bad. Hand is not bad for going second. Talent is nice. Kind of wish I had two hand traps, though. Kind of wish I had two. Let's see what's up. Okay. Do your thing. That summon two haven't normaled yet. Poplar, second poplar. Poplar special, that's summon three. Add snake eye spell trap, gonna add field spell. They're gonna get to Flamberge. Hmm. Gonna get to Flamberge before Nib is live, which is troublesome to say the least. Troublesome. Hi Felix, I'm back. Uh yeah. I feel like this is pretty good value, right? I feel like that's good value. Do not sack me with a cross out. Twice. If I had a nickel for every time I was about to nib a Snake Eyes player for their life savings, but got hit with a cross out designator, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Weird that it happened twice. All right, we'll try to play into it, I suppose. There's a chance they nib themselves on my turn, too. Forget that they have nib and play into it on my turn. Just make it snappy, please. Okay, princess. Alright, this ain't happening. Let's just go. Let's just get on out of here. Let's queue up again. Let's queue up again. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We can get there. Oh, we can get there. If we get cross outed on a nib again, we're going to go play Duelist Cup and we're going to play something else. Maybe. I don't know if I can deal with that kind of pain three times in a night. Twice in my limit. Okay, going second. No non-engine. Sarnir in a dream. Always have it. Yeah, Felix, they always have it. 
Apparently they're going to have it every time tonight. Uh, does new beer attribute monsters or on the background? Uh, no, they're treated as continuous uh, spells, traps. Yeah, they're treated as continuous spells, traps, so it doesn't attribute them. Uh, sorry, I'm, I got lost in a thought. I was thinking if I want to bestial this ray out the graveyard. I don't think so. Not until my turn at least. They have three spells? No. Uh, Widow Anchor? That's fine. All right, uh, how do we want to play? How do we want to play this? How do we want to play this? Sarnir, Banish, Ray, Crash into this Shizuku. I feel like we have to wait. feel like we have to wait because we opened Crimson. I mean, we could always pitch Crimson with Bone to get it back. Mm, we know they have a negate. We know they have one. So how do we want to use the tools we have in our hand to get past the negate plus the rest? We're going to go into a grind. There's no doubt about it. We're gonna go into a grind. It's just whether or not we can stabilize to where they just, they don't get the snowball on us and just completely take over. I'm gonna crimson here. So I feel like at the very least I want a level two on board to pair up with Sarnir to turn it into something if they decide to use the negate on soul they don't have three yet that's great that we baited the negate on that so normal soul soul effect and perm is okay Imperm is fine. Let's go res call. Res call for soul, soul for Santa, Santa for bone. We'll find our way to bone Archfiend anyways. Boom. Banish Santa. Give me bu 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 bone archfiend. We send the crimson. Do we send the crimson or the golem? I kind of feel like we send the golem. We could just send the soul and skip a step and not try to dump anything off bone. I mean, we could do that. Do I want to, though? Or do I want to get the dump? If I send the crimson and attempt the dump, we run into Imperm Valor. That puts us in a tricky spot because we'll be stuck with a stuck with a level three tuner on board. But I kind of feel like we need access to vision just to get some extra utility out of this. 
let's just play it safe. We'll send. Send the soul. They don't have three spells in graveyard, so they don't get any of their bonus effects. Which is fine. Okay. Synchro. Make Red Rising. We got this far. Uh, we bring back the Crimson. Called by is fine on the Crimson. Feel like we. Sarnir here. We gotta do it on the Ray. It's always the Ray. I was thinking about Sarnir hit. Sarnir hit the Crimson just so we get some value out of it. But we're getting more value out of it by uh by hitting the Ray. This is fine. Not really in a great position here. Probably should have high, tried to high roll it to get vision into rotation. Probably should have tried it, but uh, it is what it is. Crash. This is less damage, but doesn't matter anyways. And then we lose on the crackback because we couldn't establish anything and Golem is not going to hurt them. Yeah, I didn't think that through. Hi there. Hi, Neos. How are you? I'm doing okay, I suppose. Um, I keep getting to the rank up game of... Do I want to banish anything? Nah, I don't care. Keep getting in the rank up game um, for Diamond and then losing. Whether it's because I have to run and go be a good father or my Nibiru gets cross out. Gets hit with cross out for the uh, second time. Are you rank or duel room? Uh, I'm rank, rank dueling right now. Rank dueling right now. Second called by. Okay, I definitely should have... Um, Tried to dump division then. Definitely should have tried to dump division then. But uh, we're okay, I think. I think we're we're okay. I think we're in a position where we kind of stabilize because they just get to set one of their striker spells back. Uh, Widow Anchor is probably a good one because they get to negate and steal. Of course, we draw talents into the deck. That's not going to do anything. I um, feel like we bone. We send Sarnir. Sarnir effect. Try and dump Lubellion. Bone, bone effect. Feel like they're gonna widow anchor that. Yeah, maybe I should have gone battle phase. Tempt them to take the Sarnir. I'm not playing very well this evening. I'm not playing very well at all this evening. That's okay though. We're gonna find a way to survive. We are going to find a way to survive this. Just kidding. They have engaged. This is game.
Ed Raid, draw a card. We're just never winning now that they have uh, the continuous spell up. We're just never winning. We needed to prompt them to use the Widow Anchor, Widow Anchor on Sarnir. We just didn't. Not that it would have mattered anyways. We would have been banking on them misplaying rather than having the ability to uh rather than having the ability to actually play into that board. Dump the second engage. We just don't have anything that can answer an abundant tobacco row. We just don't have anything that can answer it. Feel like it's Scoop City tonight. Feel like it's Scoop City. Let's see if we can figure something out here. We're on a bit of a little, bit of a losing streak. Feel like our issue is we keep finding too much end engine and not enough non-engine. Or. In the duels in which we find non-engine, the non-engine we're finding is bestials. Considering them non-engine, they're just bad into the matchups we're playing, which is the risk of playing the bestial version. You want to be playing this version in circumstances in which you know the bestials are going to be both good as disruptions and just generic tools you can use on your turn don't feel like we're in that position right now. So we're gonna go back to the peer version. And I modified this deck list to reflect the one I just did a TCG deck profile on for the most part. So let's give this a try. Let's switch it up to the peer version. One that was playing a ton of interactive cards and then go from there. Okay, go first. Uh, winning the coin flip also helps quite a bit too. Winning the coin flip always helps. Let's see what the opener looks like. Okay, not bad. It's be a good going second hand too. Astral, usually means a turn skip for the opponent. Uva loop's a little weird in the opener, but as long as you get to play, it's actually kind of nice to see it in the opener. Called by is there. Nice to help protect our plays, provided they don't imperm. Bone. Bone basically gets a free send off the Uva loop, which is nice. Bone gets to dump Crimson. And it looks like we're off to the races. That felt much better. Much, much better. Okay, three more wins the diamond. Let's get to diamond tonight. Let's go get some diamonds. Let's go get some diamonds. Coin flip. One. All right. Maybe the key is just to switch deck lists every couple duels. I like their setup. It's very nice. Full blue eyes. Uh, we stone sweeper. It's okay if you want to ash that. We grab.
We grab soul. Let's think about if I wanted to grab crimson, I think crimson soul combo. Because it's something like that. Why is everybody hitting? <sighs> this is frustrating. Because I switched the deck list up to play more non engine and less gas, we're getting punished because our opponents are hand trapping us incorrectly. They're hand trapping us inc incorrectly and getting rewarded for it. If we were playing more gas and we were playing Crimson and Supe, we would get to punish them for ashing Soul Resonator instead of holding for Crimson. Playing Numeron. It's one summon, they summon four, or are they playing just cash done? If this is uh, another cash tier of Dia Bellstar, I doubt it because the D Fisher. I probably should have fiendished Golem that. Probably, but also I kind of want them to play into Nib. So, I feel like we let this go. And just hope they don't sit on Fenrir, Unicorn, D. Fisher. They grabbed Ogre. Why are you grabbing Ogre? Because you're just going to grab Prep and then play not play into my Nibiru okay that's unicorn ogre three um do we let them go a little further and just nib them at end of main and guard against any potential any potential extenders like birth now nah, we just nib mirror I'm gonna feel really silly when they get to uh when they get to make a rise heart Funny that I put it in defense. Okay, it worked out. It worked out. What's their set card? Prep. Prep is fine. Special summon it. Shanger arrow is fine. Grab whichever cash tier you want, and then I'm just going to yeet it off the board. Destroy my nip. That is fine. Fender out. Banish whichever card you like. They're all the same card. Gaia. Grab soul. Soul. Grab...
uh, grab, grab bone. Yeah, grab bone. Now, how do we How do we get into a position where we can out this board and still where we can out this board and still still do something meaningful afterwards? Feel like we go I mean scar light is a bad year and we just pop but Shinger era can protect uh because no it has no material it has no material so we could go scar red i think we go scar red yeah yeah yeah, yeah. here we go Turn this into a four. We dump something we don't care about, like feel like Oobloop is fine to dump. Oh, it has to send it to the graveyard. That's so dumb. Oh, that's so dumb. That ruins everything. That's so dumb. It didn't send it to the graveyard, so we didn't get to modulate the level. No, we're just throwing. No, we're just throwing, because I thought Pixie could destroy any card. Any monster on the field, not just face up attack position monsters. We could have at least made Abyss, and then Abyss doesn't even get to take out anything. Yeah. Oh, boy. This is, this is quite the night. This is quite the night between a couple misplays, bad hand traps. All right, uh, let's take a look. Do we do anything different? Playing a bunch against a bunch of people who are hand trapping the deck incorrectly and getting rewarded for it because we're playing a version that assumes people are going to hand trap it correctly. I don't feel like there's anything we can do about that though. Because Occasionally, they're going to be wrong. Going to be wrong. Like, this is a hand they would be wrong for hand trapping us early. What are we banishing? Also, I play a million non engine cards and I open a five card hand, and we get to play against Branded. Bistio branded, even better. This is not going well, folks. It's not going well at all. This is just the worst night I've had playing in a very long time. A very, very long time. And there's branded fusion. They get everything. They get everything here. We got no way to stop them. One of those cards in hand is Sarnir. They're going to find a way to put Mercurier back in hand.
What are they making Renbrum for? It's odd. Unless they're gonna use one of these for for granola, ragonol, whatever. said sword okay which continues lost okay okay I'm with you at which point are you gonna try and make like mirror jade or something though probably with the branded in white Are they just not gonna try and get the branded in red? Cause I feel like branded in red is uh kind of a power play. Send a deer. They're gonna plus to the moon. Dragostabellia, Brandon Loss, okay, Lobelian Resolve, make the Mirror Jade. Oddly enough, Dragostabellia making stuff level 1 does kind of mess with us. Messes up with us uh, pretty hard. And here's the Rinbrum, because it's going to Rinbrum and negate so they don't have to banish anything. So they get full combo. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, uh, they got the super negate one. Interesting. Called by. Okay, sweeper, sweeper, grab, do we grab, do we try to run soul combo? Do we try to run soul combo or do we, I think we go crimson combo, try to save. Do we special bone? Okay, well, I guess we don't have to worry about worry about that decision. I guess we don't have to worry about that decision being made for us. What are they gonna fusion into? Okay. a good hit mm-hmm called by hits the mirror jade here That worked out. Uh, special vision. Hell, have you seen the card? Hello, have you seen the card Void Apocalypse? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I don't think bo finding Bone Archfiend is really too much of a problem for the deck list. 
Uh, if people are interacting with it correctly, I um, I don't think finding Bone Archfiend is is uh, is an issue. Is there anything interesting that it enables, or is it just a consistency card? It's funny that they negated all their all their stuff for us. Um, let's see. You go here. You go here. Yeah, when I play, it's mostly the soul. Soul interact with. Um, yeah, if it's just more copies of soul, I think we're good on copies of soul. You got 13 of them you can play. It's pretty, pretty good consistency wise. Scarin. There's like no way we can push for an OTK here, right? No way we can push for an OTK here, right? Uh, res call. Res call, grab, synchron. It kind of makes it easier to get the Void Ogre. Um, yeah, getting the Void Ogre really isn't like super important though like it's neat and it's nice that you get like the all of the big two card combos um but like getting electro uh an extra level eight on board isn't really make or break for the deck make or break for the deck is resolving crimson resonator um that's that's the important thing That's the important thing for the deck. Okay, force the opening. That's good. Uh, now we can normal division. We go for this potter here. Normally, if the imperms hold most of the time. Oh, no worries, EA, EA Wavy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose that's something I, I probably should take into account with uh, Master Duel, um, specifically. Is, uh, yeah, some people are going to interact with the deck incorrectly. Um, so it might be beneficial to have plans in place for that. But if, uh, if people are interacting with the deck correctly, that it, uh, it shouldn't really matter if soul gets negated all that much. So we're going to grab the RDA here. It's fine. You negated your rim room, right? Can I check to see if it's negated? It should be negated because they negated all their face up cards with their spell. I'm sorry, with the trap. No, I got punished. I got mega punished. No, that was the game. Oh, no. No, that was the game. Oh, if I negate that with Abyss. If I actually read, paid attention. Not gonna lie, this dude is kind of pressing buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I get mega punished for that. Mega super duper punished for that. If I negate that with Abyss, we win the game. Because I bring back the RDA, flip everything down, run something over, blow it up. 
uh, Gaia brings back Scar Red, and then we have Lethal on board because we have Gaia, Despotter Abyss, the Rune, Somebody's Day. Why didn't I just negate? Why didn't I negate? I do not know. I may never know. And I feel like keeping Rinbroom out of the grave is important. Because if they can just grab Albaz, uh, they fuse us for our lives. Having a Cartesia thing was on. Yeah. Though everything they did was a little, a little odd. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Everything they've done is, uh, is a little odd. Yeah, we'll flip everything face down. Might as well. For the fun of it. Oh, what a bad night. What a bad night. There it is. We weren't supposed to win that one anyways. We had a chance, but we weren't supposed to. Yeah, we weren't supposed to win that one. All right. Let's see if we can at least end on a win. My patience is running thin for this evening. Maybe time to uh, to maybe switch decks up. It's maybe Master Duel's way of telling me, play something else, please, for a change. I don't even know what else I would want to play. All the stuff I normally like playing, it... uh. Normally, all, normally all the stuff I like uh, playing is like heavily hit in Master Duel. Like I can play Math Mac, but I don't know. I don't. I don't really want to play Math Mac. Uh, soul. Soul. Grab. No, doesn't matter. Crimson Orb, Oove Loop, does not matter. Bone. Send Crimson. Special itself. Target Soul. Send the Oove Loop. Decrease the level. Are we actually getting to play in uninterrupted, uninterrupted here? Do we get to finish full combo and then actually play a game? Or they're just gonna scoop. Okay. Crimson, Synchron and Vision here. Get the levels right. Anything? No nib? Alright. Scar Red. Here we go. No problem, Wavy. Glad my combo videos help. Um, this deck has a ton of lines it can take. I always like to think of it as kind of like a, like an hourglass. Like your combos all can start from a wide place, wide number of different locations, but then they all narrow to Red Rising plus Crimson, and then they fan out after that again. So it looks like an hourglass. Okay, make Abyss here. And uh, despite all the combos fanning out and uh, going many different places, I seem hellbent on taking them to the same place all the time. So I always run the Dispotter Abyss line. It's the easiest to get into. Requires the uh, least amount of resources for the most interaction. And uh, it's kind of hard to beat.
for some decks. Okay, Despotter, throw that in defense. Okay, Uvaloop. Uvaloop banished the. Banished the Scarred. Despotter, bring back the Scarred. Special. Uvaloop, banish the. Uh, what do we banish here? Banish Red Rising or the OGRA doesn't matter. Banish Red Rising. Yeah, let's banish Red Rising. That's fine. Doesn't matter if we don't have a good red zone target to bring back. That's fine. Make the Bane here. Bane, trip it off Uvalu, bring back Scar Red. And we're nice with it. Gaia. Gaia, grab Red Zone. There it is. Set Red Zone. Set called by. Pass with Pop. Negator pop, negate, and uh, called by double Valor. I'd say we got this one wrapped up. Uh, also, Wavy, congratulations on hitting Master. Way to go. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, this card is sent to the graveyard by Cartifact. You can add tier limits, trap. From your deck to your hand. Do I want to let them get the trap? I think that's fine. What are they doing setting two cards before they start playing though? I can only assume that means they're on dangers. And this is stuff they want. Um, they don't have anything banished. It's fine. See how they mill. They milled uh not terribly. Okay, they're getting the trap anyways. Do I just stop them? Well uh, you forced my hand. I wasn't going to negate the scream to stop the mill, but I kind of feel like I have to now. I absolutely hate anybody but Terry. Eh. Eh. I don't mind Tear. Tear was miserable if you were playing anything other than tier but if you were if you were okay with playing tier the tier match the tier mirror match was it was good it was fun it was interactive both people were playing usually nobody was um usually nobody was flag getting anybody else out of the game save for dweller but even then dweller didn't matter all that much because you were both playing before dweller was even made anyways Kind of want to, they got Havness in rotation. Kind of want to call by that Sharon. Kind of want to call by the Sharon. Feel like we called by the Sharon because now it puts something in the banish pile. Also, it stops them from getting ahead. And then now we have something in the banish pile so this Potter can negate instead of pop. Which plays much, much better into tier. Much, much better. Uh, hidden bonus, it also um, kills Shiren for the next turn, too. Which is an added benefit. So they really only have one one fusion named the mill. Okay. We have Abyss. Gets rid of one of the back row. 
Or zone gets rid of the other. Um, what do we want to do here? Oogle loop. Kind of feel like we just we just go in, force them to have something. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. You can max me. You will get one draw, then I will droll you. I don't care if I get drolled. Uh, that is definitely worth a negate, but first we're going to red zone pop. Pop that back row. Which... Why are you flipping that now? You know I can just chain to it. And we've cleared all the back row. All right. What do we hit? Crime? That's fine. We'll grab the golem. They fuse, or at least attempt to. We just potter. Oh no, they get the chain block it. No. No. What are they fusing into? What can they even fuse into? Like a window? Are we even scared of a window? What do they have material for? Get close, because they used the one for man. Alright, let's see how your mills go. Um... Okay, let's see how they go. I feel like this is just kind of a kind of a waste, to be honest. Like they're doing their best to try and play, but like we have lethal on board already. Would you play Scarlet Security for back row? Uh, no, I do not like Scarlet Security. Uh, Scarlet Security is searchable. Yes. However, um, Scarlet Security requires you to control Red Dragon Archfiend, which is not a guarantee. So normally, um, if you already have Red Dragon Archfiend on the field, your opponent will have used their back row already. Or uh, as soon as you search Scarlet Security, they will use their back row to remove Red Dragon Archfiend so you can't use the Scarlet Security. It's now just a dead card. Um, in a position where your opponent can't activate their back row to get rid of the Red Dragon Archfiend, and you have the Red Dragon Archfiend on the field, and you can search the Scarlet Security, you probably don't need the Scarlet, Scarlet Security anyways. Uh, cause if, they, if they can't do anything with the back row to stop you, then like you're fine. You're fine to just you know put Abyss on board, put Red Zone on board, and start just chipping through it, and you'll be okay. Uh, so I I don't I don't really like Scarlet Security. Uh, I made a whole video um, covering every vision resident vision resonator search target um, and going over them and uh, the the sub title for that video was uh, every vision resonator target reviewed hyphen why Scarlet security is bad I wish Red Dragon's face was good. Uh, I do too. That would be cool to have a searchable pot of greed. But um, yeah, unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, they made it really bad. Yeah, they made it really, really bad. And they made it really bad in the time when it wouldn't have even been bad. It wouldn't have been, like, that good of a card um, if it was Pot of Greed. You think a Rezo that could be a tuner and non-tuner would be good? Yeah, I think that would be really good. Yeah, it would um it would definitely help smooth out some hands. Uh I don't know if they could print it um they could make it a level that would fit the synchro summoning we want to do though cuz if if you want a non-tuner you want it to be um level 4 Maybe they could do something cool, like they could print a resonator that said this card is treated as a uh, it's a level two tuner resonator, and then its effect is you can also treat this card <laughs> as a uh, as a uh, level four non tuner. That'd be kind of slick. Uh, we pitched the imperm. Probably should have pitched. Droll, but I like Droll and Max C. I know they kind of conflict with each other because if we're going to Max C our opponent, we probably don't want to Droll, so we can, so we shut off our own draws. But uh, I feel like one of those two should go ahead and shut down their turn. Yeah. But yeah. Um. They made Phantom King Hydride. They made that, but like Resonator Hydride instead. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Be cool if they made it that way. Uh, my biggest. Um, can I do anything special with this hand since I opened the Synchron? The answer is no, because I don't have another Synchron in deck. So I think I just run the standard combo just with the soul on board anyways. Um, my biggest uh, wish for a resonator was um, that would be level two can special summon itself. You know, all typical resonator things. And then uh, it had the effect while it's in the graveyard. Uh, you can banish this card, uh, treat your red dragon archfiend monsters effects as quick effects this turn so you could set up like a scarlight and quick effect use it on your opponent's turn for a board wipe that i think that would be pretty sick that would be uh that would be something that would be a little busted um anytime you could work that that resonator in rotation and then stick scarlight on board and then uh scarlight becomes a quick effect destroy everything with less than 3000 attack be really cool. All right, I think our night's turning around, everybody. I think it's turning around. Uh, took a little bit, but we're here. Took just a little bit, but we are here. Could have summoned a second vision resonator from deck. That would have let me get supernova here. That would have been cool, but I don't know. Uh, I definitely should have done Supernova because I didn't have a way to, did not have a way to banish, banish monsters for Despotter, but that's okay. That's okay. Make it a field spell that guy can search. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. Field spell would work because then it, you know, works with Ancient Pixie Dragon a little better, and also works with Stone Sweeper to turn on Stone Sweeper's special summon effect. That'd be kind of cool. Level five, level five non-tuner special summon pairs up kind of well with Soul. That'd be nice additional utility. I kind of feel like I just go Red Nova Dragon here. This is kind of lame. I was too busy talking instead of playing. But it happens. We got Maxi and Droll. We'll be fine.
at least we get you know give uh give red nova dragon some love the dual links mainstay okay uh maxi and draw phase avoid talents so we don't have to burn our abyss negate too early Resonator that counts as two tuners for a synchro summon. Uh, that would be sweet too. That would be really sweet. That would make Supernova so much more accessible. You could save a body. Okay, yep. Strail spell traps. Soul Resonator, banish. That'd be really cool. Change of hearts. Uh, they are on some go second shenanigans. Um, and they're targeting the Red Nova Dragon. I kind of feel like this forces our hand to negate. That's what they're trying to do is force the Abyss negate. But if we let them change apart the Red Nova, they crash the Red Nova into the into the abyss and then we lose out on both our pieces of interaction uh since we were kind of talking about um like custom cards support cards what are they playing dios mio uh lava golem Okay. Uh, that's fine, I suppose. It might be Makanko. They're all loaded up on some Ghost Second stuff. Uh, Res Call. Do I. Should I have drolled there? That That's the question. Should I have drolled after they added? No, I think nib kind of means we're safe. Um, okay. Punch the lava golem. It might be on Luna Kaiju. Might be on Luna Kaiju, but they just had a bad hand. Prosp and fix it. Okay, that works. Uh, but while, while we're kind of rambling on about um, custom cards, uh, I made some custom cards, kept getting asked about custom cards, like what would I want for Resonator support before the new support dropped, and they basically did what I uh, what I designed. It was kind of cool. It was, uh, it was a non-tuner that special summons itself, and uh, also... Um, sends a resonator from deck to graveyard um so it was like i designed like half of bone Ar archfiend which was uh which was kind of cool lab um uh this is always tough with lab I feel like we have to save the ash for have to save the ash for bill welcome okay they're grabbing furniture if they go furniture pitch I feel like Joel's kind of useless we're better off just saving in our hand is for free bone fodder Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> the Bell Star Labyrinth. Okay, okay. Um, now we draw. Okay, sure. We'll play the Bell Star Labyrinth. Uh, what is Homie cooking? Pitch the extra half, that's fine. 
interesting that they didn't lead with Xtrav. Yeah, thank you, Wavy. Thank you for the reinsurance that I needed. Keep it for big welcome. It's always tough because uh, you always want to hit the little ladies to stop them from getting double trap because if they get double trap, then your Ash is dead anyways. But um, if they only have access to one trap, then I guess you're you're okay. Probably should have max seed there too. But if, I feel like if we max C, they just don't Black Witch. But maybe that's fine because then they don't get their trap. Yeah. Initially, when I was thinking about hanging on the max C, it's in case they got double welcome. Um, that way, at least I get the draw out of it on my turn. But uh, we'll see how it goes feel like we do it's gonna be another one of those duels where we get punished for not playing a bunch of gas because they're going to hit soul they're going to hit soul with the trap I know it it's been happening to us all night they're gonna hit soul with the trap Instead of waiting for the actual proper choke point, they, they're they going to hit the card that... Hit the card that they shouldn't hit because they get punished if I open any sort of extender. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. Ash. Okay, let's let's stop deck. You have something that you can activate there, but you didn't. Uh, finish. That's why Void Apocalypse is so nice. Yeah, I'm starting to maybe think I should. Um, it's usually why I like the Supe package. It's because Supe is like a major punish for this, or it lets you play in a way that they can't punish a normal Summon Soul Resonator. Like the way I have this deck set up right now, and the TCG deck that I... Um, the TCG deck that I just did a deck profile on, deck profile video on, um, it's definitely glass cannon. It's definitely glass cannon. Are they just milling so they can hit a transaction rollback? They are. Of course they rip it. I'm going to see here. We'll... Okay, Let's see if we can survive. I mean, at least we have Fiendish. Maybe we can use Fiendish to get something off the board to survive. three bricks uh i wouldn't call it three bricks you want run one brick for supe you run the supe the other two it does it doesn't matter that you're playing three copies of it duels don't last long enough for it to come up to have a dead dusk walker in hand it happens occasionally but more often than not it just doesn't matter
That's funny. I did back up one. Let's see what they do here. Let's see if they can convert it. It's already past midnight. I should probably call it a night anyways. Okay, we lived the turn. We live. Do we have a chance? We'll see. We shall see. Soul. Soul effect. They're going to hit it again with an imperm. No, we get it. Okay. We're playing. All right, everybody, we're playing. Bone, pitch the Valor. It's dead to me now. Don't know. That's fine, because we have... We have the vision in hand. So we can make a six, bring back the soul that's in the graveyard, make a nine, and uh, we're still losing because now they have lab engine rolling, but we only need to do 4K. Saw somebody say ban original sinful of spoils. Honestly, I don't know what I don't know what to hit with the snake eye stuff. Like maybe I think wanted is probably the one to ban because it gives you the extra draw. But um like all the Diabell Star stuff just circles back in on itself every card gets you every card so I don't know what to hit okay red rising uh we bring back the what gets us into the best position here Truthful answer is nothing gets us into a good position here. Nothing gets us into a good position. We can go Abyss, but that gets us one. One negate. Oh. I feel like we might as well just try Scar Red. See what happens. Ah. Ah. It's just not going to be our day. Yeah, it's just not going to be our day. All right. You've got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Scarred and crash. Yeah. Scarred and crash or scarred and run it over, flip it with Gaia. Shame. This knight had so much promise. Uh, let's go see if I want to play one duel with another deck. Just to uh, be like a palate cleanser. What's something I feel confident in playing, but also has decent chance. Kind of feel like 
kind of feel like it's math mech. We'll do math mech. We'll do some math mech gaming. Yeah, they're definitely not banning anything from the Snake Eye stuff yet. They're going to try and do what they do with everything and hit it to a point where um, it feels more in line with the power level of everything else. I just don't know how you do that without throwing like massive limit ones all over the place. In Diamond 1 with RDA trying to get into Masters but keep getting back and forth for me. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now with Platinum and Diamond. Trying to punch my way into Diamond and I get one way away from Diamond and something comes up and then then uh, then I gotta redo it all over again. Uh, one in perm. Not in perming the Arise Hearts. What did they get? They got the one diameter. That sucks. Probably should have impermed it, considering that's all they did. All right, we should be able to push past it regardless. Addition should get us to uh let's go link here and use the ling that way if they have a prep kind of cancel out the prep okay this and this prep uh yeah we're not gonna let you get fenrir back Second back row doesn't exist. Hey, okay. All right, I'm sorry, everybody, for betraying my RDA roots, but I needed to get at least one win under my belt before I call it a night. Do they keep me getting soul? <laughs> That's a good question to ask. <laughs> uh, it's funny. It's a good question to ask. They keep negating soul, and they shouldn't. Do never, never hit soul. Oh, I have a funny replay to show everybody, too. I have a really funny replay where I had one interaction, and I played it correctly, and I got punished anyways, playing a mirror match against RDA. Uh, Ling. I did click Ling, right? I want to make sure I didn't do um, the other one. I'll need the extra body later. Ling, defensor effect. That, uh, splash. Splash. Okay, Guardian, summon itself back. Splash, bring back Defensor. Make Alan Bershon. Alan Bershon. I think I need to work Nabla into this line, but I don't think I play Nabla in this deck. I don't think I ever added it. Uh, add a math mech card from deck to hand. Boop, boop. Detach. Circular. I can probably get to, I can get to a firewall. I'm sorry, uh, one of the fire math mechs probably from Defensor. Uh, circ. Uh, circ, dump. Diameter. We always want diameter in the grave. Uh, Alan Bershon effect. Uh, I could attribute the Splash Mage to bring back a Sigma, but I feel like I'll lose two material that way because it's a link to I'm giving up. Circular effect. Oh, I opened Super Factorial. That's dope. So I get the Gist Equation. All right. I didn't even notice the Super Factorial. Just chilling. Uh, we get to 
pop way the fuck off here. Uh, let's see here. Decoder. Yeah. 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 Link decoder. These two for transcode. Splash matches two materials. Transcode. Bring back the decoder. Transcode will bring back splash. Uh, bring back the splash mage. Ooh, bring back the link rebo to protect against something like evenly matched. So I can use the terahertz for aggregator. Because I still have enough material to get to terahertz. But I think I want terahertz heat soul instead. So we'll establish the terahertz. Hiya. Yes. Let's go terahertz using decoder splash. I did the materials wrong. Oh, uh, I hate it when I just click. Yes, use it as three materials. One material. One material. Neo Tempest terahertz. Uh equation here equation I don't know bring back the diameter that sounds pretty nifty <coughs> throat's getting dry talking too much uh, let's do you and you crystal art crystal heart Bring back transcode. And uh, use these two to make heat soul. Heat soul draw a card. Called by. That's kind of sick. Uh, small world. We're gonna trade this defense in for a hand trap. Dotscaper. Um, Dotscaper to get Max C. That seems pretty fucking rude. <laughs> that seems a little rude, not gonna lie. Terahertz dump did. Gotta dump the third Mathmec name. Gotta dump the third name. We'll dump the. I don't know. Sigma's fine to dump. Just get it out. Set super fact. Set called by. Toggle on for draw phase. Heat soul. Broom. Draw a million cards. Duality, awesome. I maxied the deck that doesn't care about duality. Uh, they're playing stun. Okay, cool. Does stun have any bright board breakers into it? Prosp. Uh, I kind of feel like. We should have dumped the deep save worm already. I forgot to do that. I wanted to hold that for. Well, 
We'll see what they grab. We'll tag along. Solemn Strike. Okay. Let's see what they do. Normal Summon Barrier Statue. That's fine. Um, uh, Morganite. Mm. Probably should have sent to save arm. This might go more than two. We're going to send something with a different attribute. We'll send subtraction. Nope, not activating the effects. Need those monsters on field, please. Okay. Macrocosmos is fine. Um, let's see here. Normal summon circular. Would you like to negate that? You stun. Yeah, I know. It's okay. We're gonna win. We're gonna smack him with a gigantic terahertz, and it's gonna be great. Uh, battle phase. That'll be seven thousand of your life points. Boom. Uh, I believe they're locked out of battle phase effects too. Just monster effects in the battle phase. Uh, we'll heat soul into the face down. If it's fossil dina, it doesn't matter. Save zone. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You can target that. I don't think they realize that terahertz has another. I don't think they realize that terahertz has another. Oh, it doesn't have attack. Oh, it's only a monsters. Whoops. I might have messed that up. That's fine. Hey, eat that, Sun Player. Oh. Okay, that felt that felt good. At least I know I can still play Math Mech a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go back to Red Dragon Archfiend. This is our rank up the diamond. And we're going to see if we can make it. Let's get into Diamond with Red Dragon Archfiend. So our third attempt of the night. We go first. Let's hope we don't get maxied into a hand that can't really afford to not play into a maxi. And, uh, and then let's see. Let's see. Uh, hand is good. Hand is good, but we run into the epic problem. The uh, the epic problem of if they hit soul, we're not doing great. Don't come on, fast Danny. Why? No, 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 no. Stop hitting soul resonator. No, stop. Please. I need to make a where to hand trap guide for Red Dragon Archfiend. <laughs> um, need to make a where to hand trap guide for Red Dragon Archfiend for Master Duel. Hope it hits like 100k views and then um, pill everybody on waiting. Pill everybody on waiting until the Crimson Resonator choke point because they can get punished by doing soul. But maybe they had two hand traps, so they, they figured they might as well see if they could save one. Uh, but that's that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll res call now. 
Uh, we'll res call for second soul. Just in case guy doesn't make it to the next turn, at least we have follow up. Hit, hit me with draw, please. Oh, okay, cool. All right, nib and a dream. This this sounds familiar. This sounds familiar. Uh, okay. Nib's not gonna do us anything here. Nib's not gonna do us anything here. Let's just hope that they don't have anything other than lady. Nope, they have it all. They have it all. We're in danger. Uh, just wasn't meant to be. Just was not meant to be. Called by. A turn too late. Thanks, called by. This is ridiculous. I know, every time. Every time. Yep. Yep. Calvin, it's just not our night. Just not our night, pal. Trust me, that's why Void Apocalypse is good. Void Apocalypse. Void Apocalypse is a good card. I think it's a good card because it does something good, which is Fine Bone Archfiend. I just didn't think it was necessary, but it turns out when no one knows when to actually hand trap your deck, it, it becomes necessary. Okay. Okay. We might have a chance. What did they set? They set D barrier. Okay, they I don't think they can act uh they can't activate it if they use Ku Clock, right? Yep. No. You're not going to D barrier me. No. No D barrier. The skill has been drained from the game. Uh, this is... This is maddening. Custom hand again. Yeah, I know, right? Ash, Imperm, Skill Drain, Big Lady. We're going to go do something really quick. Wavy. How many Void Apocalypse am I crafting? Let me know. <laughs> it's an SR. That's fine. Uh, the centric is fine to stay cut troll wavy let me know how my how many of these am I playing hmm how many of these bad boys am I on how many do I want do I want three do I want one do I want two Let's run two. Okay, wavy. Generate two. If I get a royal, oh, I was going to say. Oh, it opens a pack too. Sweet. We'll open that after we duel. Okay. We now have Soul Resonator gets negated insurance. Maybe one. Too late. We're shipping it. We're shipping it. I like five. Six copies of Bone Archfiend, because Foolish Burial is technically a copy of Bone Archfiend, too. I like the six copies. That means we're going to open it. Uh, let me see how often we're going to open six copies of uh, Bone. Hypo, Geometric, Calculator. 
Uh, hand rocks for going first, but that's not what we're doing. Population size, we're playing 40 deuce. Hand size, successes, six. I just want one. 55% uh, of the time, we're going to um, open our soul resonator. It gets negated insurance. Much better than the 33% chance that we have if we're only running three copies of bone. What's up with Lab Diabellstar? Do they just like the Diabellstar stuff to bait out hand traps so like Big Welcome doesn't get negated? Is that what's going on here? Is it because it can set a normal trap and that works with the Lady Lab stuff? Uh, that's fine. I can't do anything about it. Going second, runs 15 ant traps, C0. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Konami just wants me to play Math Mac. I play Math Mac and I get matched up against the stun player and I get to go first. Uh, activate. Search. Okay, that's new. Um, I kind of feel like we don't. We don't do that. We hold the cross out for like an imperm. Because we have Sweeper. They're going to Ash the Resonator call. The non once per turn searcher, they're going to Ash. Maybe I just need to get into Diamond and then I can adjust ratios to play against. Hey, we got the Bone Archfiend already, though. We got the Bone Archfiend already. Do we negate? The infirm. Do we know what that last set card is? Have they set any traps off of off of a big lady? Uh, we know it's the betrayal. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do then. We're gonna do this. We're gonna call imperm So they really get excited to negate Soul Resonator and they use that trap and we have the Bone Arch Fiend already. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. We're getting it. Uh, all right. All right, all right, all right. And they're going to set a normal trap. But they won't be able to activate it because they don't have furniture. Roll back. They just get to copy a normal trap from my graveyard. But that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Oh no, Soul Resonator got negated. Whatever will I do? Oh, that's neat. Okay, so they can roll back. Gotcha, okay. That's neat. They can use the Bell Star to get roll back off the field. That's cool. Let's bone Archfiend. Let's send the red zone because I want vision as an extender because they're going to roll back copy imperm. And that's going to goober things up just a little bit. Uh, dump crimson. Decrease. Am I missing something? Is there a reason why they can't roll back copy imp? Oh, because I... Um, I cross out of the imperm. Does that mean they can't use the effects of imperm? Or they just had toggle off? They're gonna copy imperm, they're gonna copy betrayal. Okay. Okay. Special vision. Give me. What do I want here? 
what do I want here? Scarlet, blow everything up, just get it out of the way. I mean, OG does the same thing, but I like, I think I like Scarlet here. Vision, Crap Gaia, blow up everything. How is this? Ah, can't be destroyed by card effects. I missed an important detail. That's fine, we still got rid of the other two things. Scarlet Wavy, we're on the same wavelength now. I get it. I get it. I feel like we have to grab Red Zone here. I feel like we have to. I mean, Golem does some stuff, but I feel like Red Zone answers. Does Red Zone answer back row, actually? Because we don't get to pop anything unless they activate an effect, and they're not activating an effect of their back row until they're actually doing it. Um, Golem just gets big monsters off the board, which is fine if they have a way to get Dio Bellstar. If they find a way to Dio Bellstar. What did they set off the... What did they set off the lady when they specialed it? Wanted? Uh, add deal bell star monster from your deck or graveyard to your hands. What are we grabbing here? Are we grabbing red zone or are we grabbing fiendish? I don't really know. I don't know what the correct move is. Yeah, Scarlet and Swing Over Lady. But which one of the traps am I grabbing? Am I grabbing Red Zone for for a pop? Alright. I see a Red Zone. We're grabbing Red Zone. Okay. Battle. Crash. And we don't need to book it. It doesn't matter. Main 2. Set. End phase. Okay. It's fine. Um, we have to hold this because they'll just chain it. Yep, it's fine. Okay, they're grabbing it from graveyard. Maybe they only play one. I wonder what the Diabell Star package looks like in lab. Is it just the uh, like one, three wanted, one Diabell Star, one trap, one um, simple spoils? Wanted is dumb. Yeah, wanted is pretty dumb. Yeah. Quick play add from graveyard or deck, and it draws you a card. Aspiring girl, thank you. Red zone can pop traps before they're activated. Thank you. Thank you for the reassurance, everybody, that grabbing red zone is correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have nothing to pop at the moment, though. Doesn't perfectly work like we want it to. Nice royal. But if they're passing on just big welcome in a dream, I feel I feel decent. I feel decent about it. Why can you both? Uh, summon the lab monster. I feel like we need to do. Do we have a soul in graveyard? Yeah, so if they go big lady. Fine. 
Yeah, the Bell Star Labyrinth. Everybody's playing it. It's like the sixth one I've ran into. Um, do I pop the set card? I think I hold the the red zone pop, pop monster. Ah, wavy. I missed. I missed it. Kind of feel like I need to pop her. I guess you're right. They would add a bounce. The other bounce it back. That's fine. Yeah, I messed up. Whoops. Yep, use it. Pop it. Woohoo. Boop. Uh, yeah, we'll soul here. Keep it on field. One crimson is in graveyard. What do we want to grab? I feel like we grab a soul here. Okay. Good. Don't know how we made it through that one, but we did somehow. Okay. We're getting into diamond. It's going to happen. We're going to open hand traps. We're going to go first. We're going to open soul plus soul insurance. We're going to open hand traps for when they open two hand traps. And if the hand trap we open is nib, it's going to be live and they're not going to have cross out for it. There it is. Okay. Hello. Soul resonator gets <laughs> gets negated insurance. Wavy, if Void Apocalypse shows up, turn it comes up right now. We're uh we're going to uh we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna do something. Went against Resonator Lab, which was pretty neat. Yeah, Resonator Lab is neat. Uh, it's something I'm toying around with. I haven't quite dialed down the ratios to something I like. Um, but uh, there's there's some stuff going on there. There's some synergy. Uh, you can do Fiend Monster from your deck. Okay, that's cool. That also gets Uvaloop in to rotation. Okay, so Void Apocalypse is basically just like a... just like an extra Foolish Burial for this deck. So we discard one card, we discard the Bone Arch Fiend, we send the Uva Loop to the graveyard, and now we Bone we bone send the void apocalypse to summon itself back from the graveyard and then we bone target soul I like void apocalypse that was very neat that was pretty neat not gonna lie that was pretty nice and we're playing branded tier it looks like because they mer milled a mercurier and an alvaz which is good for us I suppose Good for us. Maxi probably would have been better had we saved it, but um, Maxi would have been better had we saved it, but you know, that's alright. You see so nice. Wavy, they, I'm sorry it took you like telling me 40 times to uh, to go ahead and play the Void Apocalypse, but I am, I am here. I'm Void Apocalypse build now. I'm void build. Okay, we go for the hot red. 
you. Give me the OG. Did I not synchron the add back vision? Whoops. Go for a four card end board. I smell super poly. Yeah, they're going to set Elbaz and then contact fuse my board away. I'm really excited for that to happen. But, um, really excited for that to happen. But we'll, uh, we'll live with it. We'll live with it. Okay, there's that. Uvaloop, banish. Uh, banish. Scarred. Forgot the synchron add back, which is kind of poopy, but it happens. It happens. It's okay. If it's a 60 card, Calvin, don't do this to me. Don't tell me that the reason why their hand is extra quiet right now is because they're sitting on Super Poly. I don't mind if they fusion dupe into, um, not dupe, fusion deployment into. Um, fusion deployment into Albaz because I can always imperm that. But I do mind if they just hard open Albaz or Super Poly. They said it. No, what am I doing? Stop talking. Start playing. What am I doing? I'm throwing. I'm excited that we finally got a playable hand and now I'm acting a fool. Playing miserably right now. Playing miserably right now. I'm supposed to spend it to the Uva Loop so I could Bane tribute the Uva Loop. It doesn't really mean much in the way of end boards. It's just a just an extra body but sometimes an extra body matters especially when it's a 3500 body because it means I can just go for lethal right away on the go round Gaia Gaia effect grab red zone Set Imperm in the middle. Hopefully they play Branded Fusion into it so I don't have to... So I don't have to worry about Abyss negate Branded Fusion. I could save it for the board breakers that they're likely on. Okay. Send Albaz. That's fine. Draw a card. Rhino Hearts. Um, I feel like this is good enough to eat an imperm, considering it's so normal. That eats an imperm. Save Abyss for anything that could break the board. And then hopefully this potter interacts well with the rest of the stuff they have. Um So this is odd. Cause I have to they go Albaz. They go Albaz, Albaz effect, I pop Albaz and get it off. That's fine. That's fine. Because the body is cleared and that means they can't contact fuse. Okay. Titanic Lad, Albaz. They go Albaz effect.
they're smart. They didn't activate the effect. They're just going to... They didn't activate the effect. They're just going to contact fuse everything. Activate the effect. Come on. Nope. They're smart. Yep. They're smart. They are smarts. Okay, if they're going battle phase, that's fine. If they're going battle phase, that's fine. So that means they don't have much going on in main phase two. Um, definitely activating red zone. Getting the other RDA on board. I need to get Synchron back. Really need a negate right now. Or pretend that like airplanes or like shooting stars and sky could really use in the gate right now. Uh, how do we want to do? What do? What do? What do? How many visions are out? And I already burned through the bane. Uh, I feel like we Uva loop here, banish the abyss. Prompt them to do something. Red zone, bring back abyss. Forces their hand pretty well. Uh, dun 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 dun. Which monster are they special summoning? So they're going to fuse with either, either side of the field. They're trying to target a Luber. Um, I feel like we have to go red zone here, destroy it, destroy whatever this other back row is. So we can deal with the monsters, no problem. Just not the back row. Branded sword, that's fine. So they're going to go with Masquerade. Masquerade is fine. Or Starving, oh, Furious. Hooray. Okay, Abyss checks Furious. Um, yeah, that's fine. You can add the Brand Spell Trap. Thing that makes this tricky is to clear the tier monsters. Um, I have to run over the Havness. Flip everything down, run over Havness, board white everything, Rhino Heart comes back. So I need to put big damage on board, and I don't have a lot of time to think about how I want to do that. So we're just going to normal soul. Soul effect. See if we can't get anything out of here. Soul, grab, centric, day late and a dollar short, but that's fine. And then, I feel like we go bone here. Bone, can send, bone. <coughs> I need to hurry up.
send you uh, send you increase Scarlight I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it off. Eleven seconds. I just need to be ready to click on an RDA and I can smash smash win win. Also a business gate. Enter. Whoops. Ran out of time. Whoops. Whoops. It's been that kind of night. Will I ever get out of my own way? Probably not. <laughs> this is the worst night of Yu-Gi-Oh I've had in a very long time. Worst night of Yu-Gi-Oh I've had in a very long time. This somehow still feels winnable, but not very. Yeah, I know. I ran out of time. I should have at least tried to swung with the abyss, but too close on time. Sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes you have nights where nothing goes right. Uh, he added off of the Alba Lenatus that I outed, so I can't really be too upset about it. Pop. It somehow still feels winnable. I don't know how, but it does. Because they resolved the Branded Fusion just to get to sanctifier hopefully their timer is running low too hopefully this isn't a one-sided affair Boop. 
Can you be destroyed? Uh, yes, you can. You just can't be targeted. Okay, they're probably running out of time, too. All right. How do we get Abyss back on board? We banish it with the Uvaloop, because Uvaloop is the MVP. Don't know how we're going to have a chance to win this, but we are. Which is fine, because I feel like we were supposed to win it anyways. Um, what you gonna summon to my field? Ah, you're gonna summon a Dispotter to your field. I'm not going to let you block all my zones up. I'm going to use red zone. I'm going to get the abyss back. We're going to save time for this. Uh, we're going to scarlet here. Blow up lots of stuff. Does that protect their stuff? No, it does not. Good. I didn't know all that soul resonator interaction played out. That's fine that you want to do that. Uh, I guess we red zone here. Destroy Rhino. Get the float out of the way. Let him float. Okay. Uh, what else do we have in graveyard? We have Bone, Bone Consent, Uva Loop. I like that. Bone consent Uva Loop. We just need to go to battle phase and win this goddamn thing. Battle. We did it. <laughs> we did it. A night of smashing my head into a brick wall. <laughs> we did it. We're in diamond, everybody. We finally did it. Jesus. Took about five tries to get here and some uh, very interesting duels, but we did it. Oh, all right. All right. All right. That was actually a good duel. Uh, consider me Void Apocalypse pilled. Apparently, we need to have insurance in case people hand trap us inappropriately. Also, never hurts to have extra one card starters in the deck. So, our one card starter count went up by two. So, we're at three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen. Eighteen one card Oh, welcome to Diamond. The real challenge begins now. Yeah, that's fine, though. I just wanted to get here. I'm okay with the challenge. Just needed it to happen. All right, let's go collect some rewards. Nice, almost 3,000 gems. At least that it was all worth something, you know? This is my first time in Diamond? Oh, my. I haven't played Master Duel in forever. I think the last time I played, Plat was the highest. Get all those rewards. 3,000 gems. No, I don't want to go solo. I want to go to the shop. I think we got some free packs to open. You ended last turn with one monster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you guys are still behind. Are you? Or is my stream just behind? No, you guys are caught up. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, we got some free packs. We got a sprite pack. Let's pull that one. All right, super. We'll skip it. Uh, nothing. We got a glossy smashers. Okay, I guess that's kind of something nice, I suppose. We get to pull something from the... 
Leaf Fort Infernoi pack. Alright, let's pull that. Alright, another. Ooh! Dang! That's a good rip. That's a really good rip. That's a great pack. Wow. Alright. That is that is a great rip. All right, that worked out. That worked out great. Oh. Anyways, I got distracted because I'm tired and all that, but you ended last turn with one monster. Yes, yeah, the grind game in RDA is crazy. It snowballs like nobody's business. Uh, I can get a talents bundle, a Valor bundle. Do I want to open anything else? I think I'm just going to save my gems. There's an RDA wallpaper. kind of feel like that's worth 250 gems. Um, kind of feel like that's worth 250 gems. But we'll save our gems for right now. There might be another deck we want to uh, we want to build soon. Let's go open 100 Legacy Packs, see if we get anything good, and then go from there. Boo! What was that SR next to Nibiru? Um, let me go check the deck list after I do this. Hey, we pulled a Pixie. That's sweet. These were a good 100. Aram, that's another one. Another good one. Berserker Soul. Uh, this is not a good card at all. Binary Blader, not bad. Uh, Cringe. Senate of Thunder is a nice one to have. Shout outs to Six Sam. Baby Mud Dragon. Oh, look at him. A little cutie. Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, da 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 da. Nothing else all that interesting. Serpentine Princess. This will come in handy one day. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let me go back to the deck list so I can look at the SR that's next to Nibiru for, uh, for Spider Demon J. It is Archfina Centric. Uh, if it's on the field as a monster, you can tribute it to destroy a monster, or you can put it in the pendulum scale, and uh, while it's in the pendulum scale, you can tribute it to destroy a spell or trap. Uh, so it's a searchable out uh, to floodgates for, uh, for RDA. Normal soul, soul effect. Search eccentric, scale eccentric, eccentric pop, get rid of the floodgate. Uh, hopefully you have Bone Archfiend or a way to Bone Archfiend, and then you can play. So uh, just something I'm trying out since Master Duel um, doesn't have a best, best of three. Like you kind of just need back row outs built into your deck. And this one is in, in engine out. So seems pretty good. Yeah, it's a uh, it's halfway decent. Um, yeah, it's halfway decent. All right, everybody, we made it to diamond. We did it. We opened some free packs. We pulled a Borload Savage Dragon. We opened some Legacy packs. We opened an Ancient Pixie Dragon. I think that's about as good as tonight's gonna get. I uh, I would I would like to end on a high note. I would not like to go back into the ranked ladder and uh, have a Nibiru cross outed for the fourth time tonight. So I think we're going to call stream here. Um, before I do that, anybody have any questions or anything? Anybody would like to make fun of me? This is the opportunity to do so. Uh, EA Wavy, do you like Ancient Warriors? Yes, I do. I do like Ancient Warriors. Um, I don't know if you peeped. Uh, do I have it? No, I used to have a deck called Dynasty Warriors. But, oh yeah, I do. We're playing Dynasty Warriors. There it is. 
there it is. There's the Ancient Warrior deck. It's a little outdated. Uh, this was back when extra I was at three, but here it is. Blind second. Go for it. Any other questions? Thanks everybody for coming out. Wavy, thank you for pilling me on Void Apocalypse. Um, comes up. It comes up. Now I have to go to TCG Player after I'm done with stream and order a couple copies for home. So, uh, is Void Ogre needed in RDA? No. Is it nice to have? Yes. It definitely comes up. Uh, it definitely comes up. But there are very few instances in which you will choose to make Void Ogre over your normal combo pieces of Abyss, Dispotter, and Supernova. Usually those are the three you're going to go with almost all the time. And if you can weave a Void Ogre into your combo, it's usually like a, a power play two-card combo that goes on uninterrupted. And in those situations, you may not even be able to empty your hand out too. Because uh, Void Ogre's Spell and Trap Negate is conditional. You need to have no cards in your hand. So uh, there's also a weird thing with Void Ogre where, like, if you're playing, if you go first, uh, you, you combo off, you make the Void Ogre as part of your combo, you know, you pair it up with uh, the Abyss and the Dispotter and all that. And then your opponent's playing a back row deck. They set their back row. It goes to your turn. You draw a card. You now have a card in your hand, so Void Ogre is shut off. So now all their back row is live. They'll just start chaining their back row while the Void Ogre is dead. You know. So, uh, so it's 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 good, but it's definitely not needed. But it does come up. If you want it, play it. You don't feel like you have to play it. I don't think I'm playing it. Neither the deck list I have. Uh, I very very rarely make it. So. Uh, no need to thank me for the stream. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Hopefully it was fun. Um, yeah, I'm still not where I want to be technical play wise. Still need to kick off a little bit of rust after not playing at locals for for quite some time and not really playing master duel. Just kind of sticking to dual links, but it's getting there. It's getting there. All right, everybody, I'm gonna call it. Thanks for coming out. I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one. Be safe, have fun.